five ways to use media albums in Schoology. So number one, what students can do is they can share their work and get feedback from peers. So this could be something like short answers, or it could be something like math problems. So this would be each individual or pair of students get something different to write or a different problem, math problem to do. And then they can simply just take their pictures with their phones, or if you have iPads in the classroom, and they can post them. And then students are going to be able to comment underneath um, as well to give feedback. You can give feedback. Um, you know, parameters and expectations. So it's a good, good handy way to do feedback. Another way to do this to activate prior knowledge. So um, if you are history, science, English, if you're an art teacher or music teacher and you're about to go and look at a certain time period, a certain genre, um, you can post pictures from the eras and have students do different things with these pictures. So when one thing that I like to do first is what you've noticed in the photo and then they go back and they start drawing inferences in the photos so they can go through this would be my example of how I would do this for um, Roll of Thunder Hear My Cry which is set in 1930s Mississippi which deals with both segregation Jim Crow era laws as well as the depression and the, the Dust Bowl so this would be a great way instead of me lecturing students about what the dust bowl was is having students actually looking at this and probably at the beginning thinking it's water or thinking it's mud and then discovering it's dust. Another thing that you can do is you can use it for grouping. So if I'm doing lit circles for dystopian literature and I might have um, YouTube videos that are book trailers or in here in this case I have the covers of books, students will select which group they want to be part of. So I might say okay tonight at 7 p.m you're going to go on and you're going it's going to be first come first serve the first five people for each book um and then students can go on and they can preferably with a book trailer go ahead and then write their name and another way to do this is if you're grouping with different types of topics or different types of projects you can go and do it where it is a um, where it's an image that shows that and then it's all time stamped so you can see who's going to be part of what group Another thing that you can do is you can also make sure you are recording all your anchor charts. So you make all these beautiful anchor charts and they're on your walls and they're there for students to use. But what do you do when the stu when your their students are at home and they're needing that information? If you have a single media album that is something for students to reference throughout the year of all the anchor charts on your walls, um, this could be something that would be very helpful and powerful for students even when they are at home or they're sick or they're doing homework or what have you. And then last but not least is one of my favorites. I love using memes and comics, especially to reinforce grammar skills in ELA, but you can do it for any subject area. And what you can do is you can have it where students are posting their own images um, coming in, maybe making their own memes, drawing their own comics, or uh, you can also create a compilation of those memes and comics. And then underneath, students can explain. So the Stop Clubbing Baby Seals, why is this the image for this text? And students can explain how this comma goes and it's like it's addressing the baby seals. And so and this becomes that imperative statement um, instead of the entire thing being an imperative statement if there was no comma. So students can go in and it's just a little bit where you can do humor, you can do extra credit, but you can also do these things as warm-ups, you can do them as closure activities, and you can also have it where eventually you'll take some of these and put them down maybe on the test. Um, just another way of kind of injecting humor and keeping things, um, you know, entertaining for students, especially if you make the students do the hard work of creating the memes or finding the comics. So that's just right there. So five quick ways that you can use media albums in Schoology. And let me know if you have more ideas by posting them in the comments.